Isn't it interesting about time travel? It's been quite a long time I want to talk about fourth dimension. We live in three dimensional world, 3D. For us, it's very hard to understand or to imagine how 4D looks like. So in order to understand worlds, 1D, 2D, 3D, 4D, first let's describe it on the objects. It has only one dimension, length. Organism lives here. It can move this way or another direction. As soon as we add one more parameter to this one dimensional object, we add height, this object becomes two-dimensional object. If organism lives here, it can move this way, that way, that way, all the way around the square. So this is two-dimensional object. Example of two dimensions is Simpsons South Park. Just compare how it's different from Shrek Toy Story, for example. This is two-dimensional world. And as soon as we add, uh, let's take another example of two-dimensional world, my book of Google Ads. So this is same two-dimensional world. If organism lives here, it can move this and that way. But we live on a three-dimensional world. And as soon as we add depth to this two-dimensional object, it becomes three-dimensional object. Everything that we see around us is three-dimensional object because it has length, it has height, and it has depth. So X, Y, and Z. That's where our understanding of 3D world stops. We cannot imagine four-dimensional objects. But let's try to downgrade our imagination and use geometry of time. This is 3D object. It has length, height, and depth. Let's add fourth parameter, time, timeline, and remove one. So right now we don't need this depth. So we will think about 4D object as a 3D. This line is a timeline. Time pass. We move on this timeline further and further and further and further. If we are here and with some magic we can jump to this spot, we can see what happened there. And if we can jump to this spot, we can see what will happen in the future. The problem is this does not change it stays the same and this is theory of fourth dimension of the time we will not be able to change the future so time travel isn't it interesting about time travel right now we know one way how to travel through the time and that's natural way to leave and then time comes and we see what happened and what will happen maybe in the close future we will find another way right now we know only one way Thank you for watching, like this video, share it and subscribe my channel.